Hello everyone! In this video, I would like to talk about how to differentiate between fact and opinion in GD questions. I believe that you will master this important concept. Okay, let's dive into the video. Well, first things first. I'll explain the definition of fact. Fact is a statement of truth. Generally, a fact is based on direct evidence, actual experience, and observations. To be clear, I will give some example sentences about factual information. For example, the police found that the criminal was torturing the little girl. This is based on the direct evidence. And the second example is the tourists witnessed that the safari park was full of diverse wildlife animals and designed to look like a real jungle. This is based on actual experience. And the third one is according to the experiment conducted by the marine biologists, there is a dramatic decrease in the number of whales all over the world. In this example, the sentence is based on observation. So, how do we know a given statement or argument is either fact or opinion? Well, there are a number of tips and tricks that can help you to get the correct answer. For the rest of this video, I will explain you by giving example sentences. Tip number one. A fact can be proven either true or false. For example, look at the given sentences. The sun releases heat and light energy from the process called nuclear fusion. The idea that the Earth is the center of our solar system was proven wrong by modern scientists. These sentences are factual because they provide specific information that can be proven right or wrong. This is an important thing to understand in the first place. Tip number two. There is usually a given strong reason or logical conclusion together with the fact. Look at the following example. Global warming occurs due to accumulation of greenhouse gases and the breakdown of ozone layer. This is a fact mentioned together with two strong reasons. Tip number three. A fact is usually associated with the use of strong verbs such as discover, observe, witness, find, experiment, state, prove, and so on. Check out the following examples. The scientists discovered a new species of plant that can metabolize plastic wastes. He observed that the ice cream cells are correlated to the rise in temperature. Tip number four. A fact usually contains specific facts, numbers, figures, and statistical information to show the valid conclusion. To give some examples, the 2010 census stated that there were nearly 200,000 people moving from California to Ohio. The guy bought $1,000 worth of beer. Tip number five. A commonly accepted idea or well-known information can also be regarded as a fact. It can also be a historical information or evidence. Some examples are as follows. 
The apple is usually red, but it can be green or yellow as well. In Civil War, Lincoln fought against the Southern slaveholders. All right, this is all about facts. Now let's go to another topic about opinions. Opinions are personal ideas, views, beliefs, decisions, judgment, feelings, emotions, and so on. Unlike facts, opinions are hard to be proven and open to debate. So, how do we know a given statement is an opinion but not a fact? Is there any clue to best guess the opinions? Of course! Yes, there is. I will also explain this time with examples. Tip number one. If the given statement cannot be proven or if it contains personal points of view without giving reasonable consideration, it might be an opinion. Let's check the following examples. Coco looked hungry since this morning. You can see that this sentence contains only judgment or personal view. Tip number two. An opinion is usually stated in terms of adjectives or words showing emotions. I will give you a couple of examples. This trip is unforgettable to everyone. We are proud of our victory. The state legislatures were hesitant to sign and ratify the new state laws. Tip number three. An opinion usually includes rumors, scandals, propaganda, and general opinion from the public. Let's see the examples. Many people think the dinosaurs are still present today. The rumor of possible invasion by aliens frightened the whole town. The WWI propaganda played a minor role to defeat the enemies. From these examples, you can understand that opinions are unsupported by observation, scientific ideas, and evidence. Okay, the last but not least. Tip number four. Guessing the future events, talking about uncertainty, making inferences from past information are also considered as opinions. For instance, the market research team predicts that the crystal beal color will be trendy next year. Many people believe that aliens will invade the Earth one day. Well, after learning all these tips and tricks, I hope you can now master the differences between facts and opinions. Before we end this video, I want to explain you one more important thing. This is important for all students because it is the most commonly tested part of GED exam. Sometimes, opinions can also be expressed based on the facts. This form of question is the trickiest for the students and most students answered them incorrectly. For example, John thinks that HIV virus can be infected by the bite of mosquito because mosquitoes can suck blood from HIV patients. This is just John's personal opinion. Since pure water does not contain impurities, the student argues that it cannot exist in nature. Also, this is just the student's personal opinion about pure water, even though it states a fact. You should be careful about these statements whenever you take GED exam.
sometimes we have to accept. That facts and opinions are not so obviously different from one another. Often there can be overlapping, especially in the exam questions. Facts and opinions are given to make students confused. Best secret to overcome these difficult questions is to practice repeatedly. I will make the final part of the video by comparing facts and opinions giving examples. You look scared of ghosts. Opinion. Ghost stories have a long-lasting history since prehistoric age. Fact. George Washington was brave and kind. Opinion. Washington became the first president of the United States. Fact. The puppy is lovely and playful. Opinion. I bought the puppy from the pet store last week. This is a fact. So, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoy this video and it will help you understand the fundamental concepts of facts and opinions. Remember that if you want to be more proficient, the only way is practice more and more. If you have any suggestions about this video, please leave your ideas or opinions in the comment section. We really appreciate our subscribers who watch this video. Thank you so much. See you guys next time.